Well, we're here on location. The location is Michigan Avenue and First Avenue in the town of Massapequa Park. If you don't know what's going on, that's okay. You don't live here. All you have to do is press pause, open up another internet browser or your phone, and type in Gilgo Beach Murder. Gilgo Beach Murder. You'll see a bunch of articles of a bunch of unfortunate women who have been killed and their bodies have been dumped. And for whatever other reason, oh, there he is. <laughs> and for whatever reason, there's multiple bodies. And I don't know, I have to look it up myself. They might have found some people over the years or other officials. But out of nowhere, there's a guy on the internet, his name is Rex, and he lives at that house in the red. He's got a wife and kids. Unfortunately, they've probably been displaced and put into some kind of um, accommodation with police surveillance, just in case they are accessories and or witnesses. You cannot go down the block. Uh, you cannot do anything. Suffolk County Police Department is here because that's their case, and Nassau County Police Department is here because this is their jurisdiction. Massapequa Park is Nassau County Police Department, and the Gilgo Beach murders happened in Suffolk County Police Department. New York State here is here because they cover all of New York State, every boundary, every single thing. I'm just showing you a small glimpse into the current situation here on the corner of Michigan Avenue and First Avenue. This is a glimpse into history with the cell phones and tablets and everything. We're able to come on down here. 10, 15, 20 years ago, you would have been down here with a 35 millimeter, taking two or three pictures and leaving. Now, you're just here with your cell phone. Uh, there's really not much to say. It's going to unfold. It's going to be national news. And it's going to just cov make coverage every day. Every second of every day they're here and they're going to see what comes in and what comes out. Unfortunately, every single thing in that house has to come out and be documented. For all of you out there who don't know why, it's because, let's just say this guy is convicted and he possibly wrote a letter of guilt. And in the back basement of January 1986, Playboy edition, page 77, he placed that document in there and no one would ever find out. But his guilty conscience said that he wrote it and he put it somewhere so he could sleep at night. Let's just say, I'm just saying. So every piece of every evidence has to come out and go somewhere and be looked at, documented, cataloged, and put into a different pile. Because you don't want to just take for granted that that book is just a regular Playboy and page 77 has a letter of confession. So unfortunately, everything with a picture frame, every mattress, every pillow, every single thing. Sometimes they take the whole entire wall. Sometimes they take walls down. Supposedly they dug the backyard. Who knows? So I'm just here documenting what I could see and there's a lot of news and basically it's gonna rain and everyone's gonna sit in their cars but <sighs> we're here the corner of Michigan Avenue and First Avenue with a Gilgo Beach murder suspect in custody hit like hit subscribe and if I have anything new I'll come back to the location thank you